Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign as Tunis. We're gonna make this the Syrian war goal, so hopefully they'll go after the, the actual capital of Hassa here. And we can get them done. Meanwhile, he is bringing over... He's got five troops now, and there we go. He's actually gonna take care of the boot for me. No more forts available to siege here. One thing we could do is uh, find the Castilian forts, right? This is actually Castile's capital, believe it or not. There's no attrition here. Let's go ahead and park the army on the capital so that when the inevitable war ends with Aragon, we'll immediately start that siege. And these transports now, we can definitely bring back. Because apparently my, my light fleet is going to wreck that, that heavy, I'm hoping. 85 light ships, hopefully we don't lose any. We didn't lose any, but we killed their heavy. Good. Let's put the Admiral back in charge of this thing. And we should also go and privateer in Sevilla, because we had synced up all of the raiding, I think. Just gonna watch this thing and take care of it. We'll do this for like a month or so. Uh, apparently we found a fleet that can just transports. There are no men on the on the transports, but we found it. These ships are not well repaired. That would be three heavies. I don't like the idea of fighting three heavies. Oh well. Apparently, we gained a heavy. Sweet. So, never mind. The, uh... The Light Fleet. Huge, 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 huge collection of Light Fleet is uh, actually still working. Sort of. Against small numbers of heavies. Get back out there. I know there's more to raid. You gotta come down here, man. That's good enough for me. Privateer in Genoa again. You guys, privateer in Genoa. We'll grab the heavy. Have him head over to these heavies. Alright, negative 49% on that thing. The steel really doesn't want to be in the war. Shock horror, right? Bring these guys over and we will help out with these sieges. Looks like we need to split this army in half, actually. Let's go split, split, attach, attach. That is not what I wanted to do. Split, attach. A one liter per per piece. One per one per each. I did it again. What what did I do wrong here? Split. Only one of you is allowed to go. You leave. Now you attach. And you head up to this one instead. Alright. <laughs> Finally. Square that nonsense away. I'll learn how to control my fleets better, huh? Not having to deal with anyone defending the Castilian and having them have, like, literally no army at all is awesome! Death to the infidel! <laughs> also, this is a level 3 fort, so we need 9 troops here. We could easily afford to... Pull off and go for another fort up here, like maybe up here? Take like six of the infantry or something? Let's take... Let's take half the cannons. Something like this. Just be ready, so that, you know, nothing annoying happens with those forts and zone of controls or anything like that. Fleets will get back to their jobs. I have you both privateering the same region. I think we can probably raid up in Bessarabia again as well. In fact, we have this sea tile here, which borders this. We can go one, two, three. We can actually finally get up there. Yeah, you gotta go this way. It's time to raid. 
some new people. Expose them to the awesomeness of our country. Could you please take that capital? You've been here for 130 days already. It's a long time, dude. Juicy. 29 ducats. I think we can also raid the Russians as well. Wait a second. Are we going to raid the Russians? You cannot raid your friends. Okay, good. So it's not going to automatically do that. That's great. So long as we're allied to Russia. I think that makes a lot of sense. So we can fabricate on... Looks like just Algarve, I think. And Madeira. I'll take the claim on Algarve. We'll stop fabricating on you now. Next war is possibly going to be with Aragon in 51. That's only five years away now. So we should maybe consider fabricating some more claims. No, the next war is just going to be reconquest. Maybe instead, uh, let's see, we could fabricate more of our own on, ah, never mind. Catalonia, I need you to fabricate on Mantua. Oh, I'm behind on military tech right now. It's just really the Ottomans, mostly. I guess Ethiopia, possibly? Yeah. Let's get some siege value. Could help out. Alright. The Papal State has accepted separate peace. They will pay war reps to Aragon. The Papal State will pay 100 ducats. So the Papal State is out. Our glorious navy is under attack. Uh, that would be a... whole bunch of Castilian transports. And do we want to just throw our heavies out there? Please don't kill my transports. I'll throw the heavies in the mix. Hopefully they don't die. I mean, they're pretty damaged. They, they were mothballed just a second ago. They only have 25% strength. But I'm not sure if they're going to even be in the fight because they were so late. You know, they're probably not actually participating right now. They have an extra 5 combat width. That's nice. One of the heavies is engaging. Two. Two are taking some hits. We did lose three transports. Transports don't seem to last long in my army. My navy, rather. I can't wait till I'm the only naval power. They could just go to hell. We are not actually blockaded with just these transports. So, let's come home. This one is 100% blockaded. It's only six development. These ones are very high, though. All right, whatever. Just work on those sieges. We'll get them eventually. All right, dude. Come on, man. Let me guess. Back-to-back -back disease outbreaks or something? We can't even get the damn capital. You have 59 war score. Why don't you peace out yet? What are you waiting for, man? He's going for some other stuff of his own up here. You can help out my siege? You got military access to the Papal State, but you're not at war with him anymore. That is all of his ships just hanging out there. Well, we're not losing a huge amount of money. I think I'll unmoth the heavies. Maybe we'll use them for a couple more naval engagements, and, uh, and we'll call it good. Great, now my, my vassal is fighting peasants. Because that's what I need him to do. Also, this vassal is a dummy and he managed to get his army trapped on some island, on an island. Alright, Syria, I need you to have like 9,000 men, please, so that you can do this siege, which you have already secured three progress on. I know you have manpower, so take care of it, man. I expect you guys to pull your weight. Seventeen war exhaustion. Wow. I have to imagine your liberty desire is getting pretty high. Eighty-eight percent. Yeah. As soon as the war is over, probably going to see a, an independence war from Sicily and Brazil.
Guess we bring the one cannon over. And we'll grab the infantry. See, I remember how to play this game. Just took me a while. Because unfortunately all the keyboard shortcuts are slightly different in in E uh, in CK2. Oh, we don't need his skills. I'd rather not blockade with just light with uh, just transports. Wow, that is a surprisingly have supply limit there. I do not want to pay for this, and I'm not certainly not going to take it. We have no claims to it, so let's just transfer this to Sicily. You have claims on all of these, so Sicily, you can have them. You have a claim on that, but we're not at war with that. Catalonia has claims here and here. I'm definitely not going to take this, so we'll transfer that to Catalonia. I still need for you to go away so that I can actually declare on or, or occupy Sevilla. We'll take a single infantry and park him on Sevilla as well. I know Aragon's going to peace out soon-ish. Well, he should. Yeah, plus 21 from battles, plus 21 from war score, from uh, occupation, like the actual thing that he did. I'll point that guy. Look at that. Sicily's trying to help out. He actually almost blockaded the whole thing. I guess we'll get the transports out there after all. And again, I lost some more transports because I'm a dummy, so we'll build three more. And now we're losing some more money. Apparently I didn't need the heavies after all. I can't make up my mind with these damn heavies. And they're all old. These are all old ones, except for one. Not even anything else for me to occupy with this guy. I just only have 34 war score. Okay, next claim on Ottomans is going to cost 30. So that'll probably be when I try to do the peace deal with him. I like the way his flag looks. It looks neato. What are you doing? Are you seriously repairing for one ship? That's kind of wasteful, don't you think? And why are you guys not doing what I told you to do, which is privateer? I know I set all of them to do it. Oh, oh, nope, stay there. That would be... 20 ships from Castile with a single dude that he's landing. Alright, fair enough. You don't have go home at war. I don't really know what it is. Okay. Yeah, Syria. He's going for it, man. Slowly. <laughs> but he is going for it. Good deal. We cored this thing a while ago. I could make this into a, a state. Will we actually make profit from that? It's not really. It's not really. That's what I said. You heard me. I don't really want to mess with the estates too much right this second. So I think we just leave it as is. If it's not going to make us a profit, then what's the point? Aggressive expansion is at 13 with a lot of these guys. Ottomans hate my guts. If I piss off all the other Catholics, then as soon as our truce is up with the Ottomans, I, I imagine that they're all going to join the coalition, which is going to be very bad. And the problem is that the coalition timer, like the, the truce timer for Aragon and the Ottomans is actually very close together. May of 51 and September of 52. I mean, I could maybe isolate them, drag them into another BS war kind of thing, but... Alright, there is our next claim with the Ottomans. More forts, please. I reach down here. This is actually owned by Venice. Looks like Maria is going to have to be the one we go for. And in 10 short days here, we will go after whatever else we can. Please troops over. Only 68 out of 120 men. Alright, so... Ooh, a new general. 
We're at 3-3 three three right now, but we have a 2-1-2-1, two, one, two, one, which is not great. I'd rather... Grand Generalship. We ended up with a... 3-1-2-1. One, one. Yeah, I mean, technically, that's better. We're being technical. But, uh, come on, game. Okay, so, my piece still with you, I'm gonna want to take... Definitely Cadiz. And then definitely the Sicilian course. That's a lot of aggressive expansion, though. Thirty-three point zero. Jeez. I think we have to ignore Napoli for now. Aragon can join. That's okay. Castile will have a truce. The Ottomans will have a truce. We can just let's just do this for now. It does cost me Diplo points. Why exactly is that costing Diplo points? I always forget. Is it that I have to... Sorry, you have to declare with your vassal CB and then land you want is still free. Well, that's what I want. And I can't take Cadiz. And actually, also, I wanted Sevilla, too. We have to keep this war going so we can get that. And I'll probably take that, depending on the aggressive expansion. We'll see. I swear to God, dude. The siege is going on for 600 days now. Merchant Slanders is gone. Castile seeds Salamanca, Cantabria, Burgos, and Caceres to Aragon. Castile revokes cores. They pay Aragon war reps. They also are forced to release Galicia, which was one of the forts. Okay, good. Our protection is exchanged. This is uh, occupied by me. Let's let's march through down here and then come down to here. So we'll just have to take on this thing for now. And as soon as the siege is done, I'll put a siege leader in charge of that thing. And actually, it looks like we're going to end up with uh, extra cannons to bring down as well, which will be helpful. Okay, so now looking at this thing, the AE goes up quite a bit. Still mostly the same nations, though. If we declare a war on Portugal right now, or be before the truce with Aragon and Ottomans are up, then it's not going to be a problem. We already have the claim. Portugal is going to pull in Lithuania, Riga, and France. Lithuania is nowhere near honoring the call, though. I really don't want to fight France. I think we just ignore Portugal for now. He'd be the only one eligible to actually join the coalition right now. So I think we'll take that peace deal, but... There's still a fairly sizable navy out there, isn't there? Does he actually have a fort on the stupid island? Of course he does. We have no truce with you, but you're too tiny to matter. Okay, um... I mean, that's a lot of rebels right there. Gotta admit, that's, that's 40,000 peasants. Apparently they've, they've all concentrated themselves over here. And uh, we do have the ability to do a peace deal with you now. 67 ducats, all that stuff. And all any alliances and stuff. Military access with the Ottomans. Sure. Eh, uh, one year for one prestige is probably not a good deal. Um, I do want the war reps, though. Two prestige for 10%. That's fine. Yeah, just give that one province back to him. You cede that thing to Hijaz. Good. Okay, go away. Barely any aggressive expansion at all. That war can end. Yemen still exists. Yemen has no allies. Hejaz hasn't attacked him. Oman is allied to Bukhara and Warsongali. So I'm assuming that we don't want to actually declare war on this guy just yet. But uh, hey, they did a good job. My vassals have done well. What on earth are you doing? I I don't even I don't even want to know. I, I don't understand. It just doesn't make sense, the way that this this naval fleet autonom autonomy thing is. And I knew this might happen, um, and yet I let it happen. Retreating is causing me to lose ships. 
They're like not damaged, they're not dead when I am in, in a fight, but then they die when I try to retreat. Okay. Are you seriously taking a negative four penalty to attack me with three infantry? Okay. I mean, if that's what you want to do, I'll not stop you. Naval force limit is almost met. We have 180, 84 light ships. What I'm trying to do right now is get these damn guys. To get on the freaking boats. Go where I told you to go, which is down into Alexandria. I'm just going to keep on powering through quality ideas. Falling behind a military tech right now I think is okay, because our, our, our primary enemy is the Ottomans, and they're not ahead of us, so whatever. And if we fight Aragon, him being two techs ahead is, is obviously bad because of the military tactics, but the earlier tech levels are more significant because it's a greater percentage relative to the base tactics in the early game. Going from 0.5 to 0.75 is 50% improvement. Going from like 2 to 2.25 is only about a 10% improvement, so that's not that big of a deal. It's not as significant. Plus, Aragon has uh, allies that I don't really want to fight either. So, whatever. I need this fort so I can take your land, please. Whatever, trade efficiency's down. I don't mind. I hadn't even considered giving this land to you. It's gonna be way too much, though. Maybe we just stick with this. Catalonia, you're gonna get more land back when I get your course to you. Hmm. Yearly Prestige? Sure. That could be very useful for keeping our, our guys all in line. We're all very happy right now. I should look to integrate more of them. One thing I think I was planning on doing at one point was syncing up the integrations, wasn't I? And then I forgot all about it, didn't I? Yes, yes I did. Why yes. Yes I did. Alright, I'm gonna take a break here and uh, in between episodes here I'm gonna see if I can maybe salvage getting one of these other integrations out of the way at the same time. We'll see. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you again soon.